What's going on, Legion? As you know, like always. All right, man. Ah, Star Trek Discovery. I'm super big fan of the first season. It was really good. There's a lot of people that were like saying that uh, a Seth MacFarlane trash comedy garbage show, whatever that was, um, was more traditional Star Trek than what Discovery was. Discovery was a different feel. Uh, when Discovery was coming out, I had pretty much just watched with the months prior, maybe a handful of months prior. I watched. Uh, I will never watch Kirk. It's just too old. I don't care. But I watched all of Next Generation, all the movies, and then simultaneously was watching Deep Space Nine, Star Trek Voyager. Um, watched Enterprise. I watched them in, in the order for the most part that they came out. So uh, I watched enterprise and skip kirk because I, I know a lot about kirk i just never watched it it went to general i watched them like in order of dates released uh all of it on netflix just binge the whole thing it took me it took me like a month i think to watch all of them maybe a little over a month each one is like five seasons except for maybe enterprise um yeah because uh Next Generation is 5, Voyager's 5, Deep Space is 9. And I think for watching all of them, sleep and watch them. Don't have a job. Uh, yeah. And then this came out, and I was super about it, and I really liked it. So let's just get into it, check it out, see what it's all about. Hope it's good. The twist at Season 1 was really good. So I'm hoping Season 2 really picks it up. <laughs> responsibility at hand. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, Captain Pike. This could be the defining moment for yeah. multiple civilizations, millions of lives. Spock, the future may probably. be determined by our actions. Yours and mine. We're really on the other side of the looking glass now, aren't we? Ah, uh, brother and sister reunited. I hope. That'd be We're cool. Investigating seven red bursts. Hey. These signals typically follow the arrival of a being we call the Red Angel. It's this angel. It's Captain Inhuman Pike. An apocalyptic vision. Someone or something is going to end all sentient life in the galaxy. Uh, she's alive still. Nice, nice. Quite the welcome, Captain Georgia. Yeah. Enjoy Section Three One. Fancy covert ops threat assessment. Fun times. <laughs> Section Thirty One's position that the Red Angel should be considered dangerous. We're in the middle of a fight for the future. Ooh. Mr. Dunn, we are always in a fight for the future. <laughs> Ten sentry ships on an intercept course. Oh, I risked everything. Black Manta? You assume every burden is yours alone. Discovery will not allow a catastrophe on her watch. I mean, come on. You're, you're Spock, you can do the same way. It worked. I mean, of course it worked. <laughs> oh, that looks like the. It looks like the, the travel. Woo! Brave. Be courageous. Captain, we are riding into danger. Is that a smile I see on your face? Yes. Release date. Welcome to Discovery. Maximum warp. Aye, sir. Give me the release date now! Season 2, when? January 17th. Oh, fuck! That's pretty neat. January 17th. Oh, I am about that! I just had to get a stretch out there. January 17th. That's not that far away, man. That's pretty damn close. Oh, it's going to be so good. I hope they just do the Netflix thing and just release the whole whole. Thing. They won't because it's CBS, right? They have to have marketable quarterly bullshit. Um, oh, dude. This season looks like it's going to be super epic i might actually skip the first five episodes and watch them binge them um i i am i'm not gonna be doing promo reactions to the next episode of star trek um unless you want that L down below let me know if you want you know uh promo reactions to the following episodes if you're that into it i'll do it i'll watch them weekly i prefer to do like i do that with the game of thrones like i'm not dating anybody so watching everything like, I, there's a lot of couples that watch Game of Thrones weekly. Some did The Walking Dead weekly. They're really into it. 
I'm just kind of me all by myself and lonesome. <laughs> so, I don't have like any reason to do that. Sometimes with Game of Thrones, I, I wait two episodes, three episodes, and then watch them all. Because, especially now that Game of Thrones is not that big of a thing anymore. I mean, people are probably starting to lose their shit. But Game of Thrones was the biggest TV show, like, after Breaking Bad. It was the next Breaking Bad. Breaking Bad, people were fucking nuts about. And people watched that weekly because they had to know. And shit was being talked about on Twitter. And things were just going nuts. You know, that's how that went. Uh, and Game of Thrones did the same thing. Walking Dead did the same thing. But now those shows are like seven years in pretty much. And no one gives a shit anymore. There are still the diehard fans, but it's not like it was. It's not trending anymore, I guess is the way to put it. So for Star Trek Discovery, there's not enough people where people are going to be like, like, I hate watching incredible movies with not the first weekend they come out. I try to see them maybe the Friday sometime, Saturday or Sunday at the very latest. But I hate like like when Avengers Infinity War came out. You know, I didn't want to go see that shit the following weekend. No, because you want to be a part of that. You know, when Star Trek comes out, you want to be a part of that. So, but with these shows, these shows I don't get that kind of urgency. It's like Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, Breaking Bad, those were the things back then. And not so much now, because they've kind of fallen off. They're not the big thing anymore. Star Trek Discovery, I don't think has ever been that way. Like, if there is a, a, a fan base that wants to check out those promos... I'll be happy to do it. No problem. Um, other than that, I have no problem just going, eh, no one's going to talk about this. I'm not going to hear anything. I can watch three, four, five episodes in a row when I was bored. You know, I still haven't watched Lost in Space Complete, the Netflix series. I haven't finished that. Um, <clears throat> but, you know, if Star Trek is the way to go, I'll, I'll do it. No problem. Uh, just let me know in the comments down below if you want to see those promos, you want to see that awesome stuff coming out for the following episodes, if they even do it so much. Because it's an online series, it might be kind of hard to find those. Who knows? With that, though, I'm going to get out of here. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Like the video, like the content. You can always like, subscribe, and share. Remember, it's going to be up to you. I do appreciate it, though. It does help me out somewhere in there, and I'll see you on whatever video I'm doing next. Later, guys.